Honestly, just lock in, man. I think the biggest thing nowadays, everybody has social media and stuff, and like, sometimes you just gotta put the phone down, sometimes you gotta figure out who you are. And I see people all the time, they're like, how do you figure out what you wanna do? And like, I got big dreams to be rich and famous or just rich, but I, I just don't know what to do. I got so many things I wanna do. A lot of people don't like remove their self from the crowd or like they, you never put down the weed or you never put down the alcohol or you, you gotta really remove yourself from all all this stuff and like maybe put down your phone for once, just think and like just sit back and sometimes it might make you cry. You might be to go into some deep depression shit, but it'll make it'll trigger that 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 thing in your brain to think and to figure out what you really want to do. It's your life. It's nobody else's life but your own. So listen to your heart and find something that you genuinely enjoy doing something that you can wake up in the morning and be happy about doing every day for the next 10, 20 years. People think that life is all about pleasure and about being happy. Who told you that life was about happiness? Who lied to you? Yeah. Life isn't about happiness. Life is about life, about experiencing life. You're supposed to enjoy and learn and train through suffering the same way that you do from pleasure, right? Because now you realize that suffering is part of life. It's undeniably a part of life. So you enjoy it that's why that's why uh, paul says bear all things with joy mm -hmm. why what's the pers what's the perspective of bearing all things with joy so that you view them right as training to develop yourself so you embrace it you embrace the tribulations you embrace the trial you embrace the difficulties